Hi, I'm Dr. Bhanu Kola, an Associate Professor of Psychiatry and Psychology and a consultant at the Division of Addiction, Psychiatry and the Center of Sleep Medicine at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Our article titled Wernicke's Encephalopathy, Clinical Pearls will appear in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings in June 2019. Wernicke's Encephalopathy is an eminently treatable disorder which if untreated can result in permanent neurological impairment. It's relatively common in patients with severe alcohol use disorder and is often underdiagnosed. This condition is commonly missed because we think of the classic triad of mental status changes, ocular dysmotility, and gait abnormalities. This only occurs in about 10% of patients with Wernicke's encephalopathy. Clinicians should maintain a high degree of suspicion for Wernicke's encephalopathy in patients with predisposing conditions and when they suspect this condition, initiate prompt treatment. Wernicke's encephalopathy can consist of three main groups of symptoms, confusion or other mental status changes, eye movement abnormalities such as horizontal nystagmus or at the other extreme, complete ophthalmoplegia and difficulties with walking. In addition, patients can also have hypothermia or hypotension. The classic triad is only present in about 10% of patients. And because clinicians expect to see all three findings, this condition is commonly missed. This can be serious because if untreated, up to 80% of patients will go on to developing Korsakoff syndrome, which results in memory impairment, and this impairment is permanent. The diagnosis is entirely clinical. Providers should maintain a healthy degree of suspicion in the right patient and initiate treatment promptly. The conventional MRI findings in Wernicke's encephalopathy are seen in up to two-thirds of patients, but that is not necessary to make a diagnosis. The mainstay of treatment is administration of thiamine in a timely manner. Traditionally, we would give 100 milligrams of thiamine per day, but the current guidelines recommend 500 milligrams IV two times a day for two to three days, and then 250 milligrams daily for two to three days, and then oral thiamine indefinitely. Since magnesium serves as a cofactor for thiamine activity, its level should be checked and supplemented by a oral or parenteral administration in cases of low magnesium. Hospital admission might be necessary in uh, situations where parenteral administration of thiamine is necessary. Here at the Mayo Clinic, we are working on enhancing physician education about this condition and developing protocols in patients with a high pretest probability of having Wernicke's encephalopathy. We want to ensure that they are identified and prompt treatment is initiated. While this is a clinical review for medical providers, it's aimed to improve patient-related outcomes and we hope to increase awareness of this condition so most providers have this on their radar while evaluating patients with alcohol use disorders. This is a condition that can have potentially devastating consequences. Its treatment is relatively low risk, easy to administer, and it needs to be provided in a timely fashion. Future research should help answer the question, what is the most effective dose, route of administration, and duration of treatment with time to successfully treat Wernicke's encephalopathy? We still require better characterization of specific risk factors that might predispose them to developing this condition. And finally, studies should help identify potential treatment options for memory impairment and learning deficits that do not appear to improve with time and treatment. Thank you for your attention and interest in our article. We hope it provides you with useful information for your clinical practice. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.